Good afternoon guys, welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome back to what I thought would just be a fun little kind of update video. I'm gonna give you a tour of my new kitchen because I'm very excited about it. <laughs> when I say new kitchen, I moved into a new flat, so this is by no means my design, this is just my stuff in a new kitchen and I kind of wanted to show it off. <laughs> so today I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour to show you what an avid baker has in her kitchen and yeah, let's go. Oh, first I've got to get you off of this thing, hang on. There we go. <laughs> A little kind of behind the scenes sneak peek. This is what you guys are normally attached to whenever I'm filming in this room. This is on my big ass windowsill, which I love. So this is a really kind of just cheap ring light stand that I got on Amazon. I can actually link it down below if you guys are interested in filming anything yourself. I think it was only about 30, 40 pounds, nothing major. Um, and it's just plugged in down here, really exciting stuff. So as I said, this is my big ass windowsill. <laughs> This is one of my favorite things in the whole kitchen. I love to keep this on the windowsill just because it gets a lot of natural light and it's one of the first things when you see when you enter the room. Unfortunately, at the moment it is empty, but this kind of dome is where I keep all of my freshly baked things. We have just finished a loaf of focaccia that was under there at the moment. There is something in the oven waiting to go under there, but nothing at the moment. I also tend to cool things here. This is why I have a wire rack sitting here. So when things are fresh out of the oven, it's handy just to open the window and cool shit down. Aside from here, you have my little dining table and a little baking kit I'm gonna be testing out for a new series today. We're not kind of super keen on this table. We haven't used it that much just because it's kind of glass and it can be a bit cold and unwelcoming sometimes, but it is kind of cute and we tried to kind of kitch it up with some table mats. This is a bin, um, yeah. Moving on from that, this is my new favorite fridge because it is massive by all standards that I've had before. So it's a big old Bosch and inside we got some food shopping delivered yesterday. So there's a decent stock of things in here. Uh, we've got some non-dairy milk, we have some wine, we have an entire shelf of different cheeses like feta, blue cheese, mascarpone, halloumi, mozzarella. I live with an Italian, so there's a lot of Italian influence in here. We also have some veg, some potatoes, some leftovers, which may or may not still be edible. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll check that later. Just some meat, some sausages, some chicken just various other things, jars of things, yogurt and other things and yeah, stuff. <laughs> um, our freezer is pretty empty at the moment. I always like to keep frozen berries in the freezer. We, oh, oh, okay. We have a shitload of bread that I didn't know was there. Also a little bit of vanilla ice cream, so always just handy to have. A couple of bags of <laughs> chicken, just massive bags of chicken thighs in there and just one lonely pack of mints. It's a fairly unorganized and random freezer and um, there's a sock. Just a little added bonus for you guys. We obviously have a fruit bowl because every good kitchen should have a fruit bowl. I am a little bit obsessed with bananas so we always, always, always have bananas. We always have just kind of some cheap lemons because they're the ultimate flavor addition to pretty much anything. We also have some pears because it's pear season and my boyfriend adores pears. We have a big old kind of rustic, very Italian looking wine thing that is empty quite sadly. Some fridge magnets, um, two of which are Italian <laughs> and a list of things we still need to buy. And um, this is a very dirty sink full of some dishes because I just made some brownies and couldn't be bothered cleaning it up before I started filming. This is my pride and joy because I have never had my own kitchen that had a dishwasher and my word, it makes my life so much easier. <laughs> Over here we have my all important baking essential when you are making big things or things that your arms are too weak to stir. This is the K-Mix and I love it. KitchenAid is kind of the most popular brand of freestanding mixer, but I really adore the kind of classic shape of these Kenwood K-Mixes. I've had this for a good kind of four years now and it's still in perfect condition. It comes with a few different attachments so I can knead dough with it, I can make frosting with it, I can whip cream and egg whites with it. I just adore it. It's so handy. The metal bowl is so easy to clean. I just, I love it. That's why it has pride of place right next to this ugly 
container of jam. <laughs> we also have a loaf of bread here, just some standard kind of white with a little bit of sourdough through it because I'm a hipster. Some kitchen roll, really not exciting. A chopping board, not that exciting either. A very sexy spice rack, which I do love. We have replaced some of these spices. For example, dried parsley is a complete dead thing, so we've replaced it with poppy seeds. <laughs> Other than that, it's all kind of true to form. Very handy for when you're cooking and you just need a bit of spice in your life. We also have our kind of most frequently used things here. You know, some good kind of sea salt flakes. I just adore Maldon. I basically don't use any other kind. Pepper, Worcester sauce. Basically my secret ingredient in everything ever. <laughs> Vinegar, oils, blah, blah, blah. Nothing too exciting. Some very kind of funky rustic Italian goodies for you here. This is an old fashioned pepper mill. So we have never actually used this, but we just thought it looked really kind of cute in the kitchen. So we keep it there. This is a cafetiere or a mocha pot, depending on where you were from. My boyfriend makes his coffee in here sometimes and I just think it looks kind of sexy. These are some tins that I haven't been bothered to put away yet. <laughs> this is our little kind of pal who hangs out beside the hob. This is a design I absolutely adore. It's from an artist called Small Stories here in Aberdeen. I kind of want to get this tattooed, but I don't quite have the money to do it yet, but it's hanging here for daily inspiration so that I don't forget. <laughs> Over here, we have a few more gadgets. We have a very old and very noisy Nespresso machine, handy to have. I know it's not super fancy and I know that coffee nerds will slam me in the comments for this, but it's handy and it's quick. We also have a kettle because you need a kettle. We have a toaster because you need a toaster. And over here, something a little bit more kind of funky, um, apart from my wonky reflection, which, yeah. Um, <laughs> this contraption is a milkshake maker. Think of your kind of classic old 1950s American milkshake type things. Basically, you put your ingredients in this thing and there's a little kind of blender that froths and blends everything into a gorgeous creamy milkshake. Um, it doesn't get used too often, but there have been times where we've had milkshake for dinner because we're children. <laughs> this is the marble slab that I take a lot of my blog pictures on. If you haven't visited my blog or tried any of my recipes yet, Go to the link in the description box below, please. Thanks. As for the kind of artwork we have on the walls, we have this picture, which one of my boyfriend's friends made. It's cool hand-drawn cocktail shaker thing. I think it just fits nicely in the kitchen. And over here, we have another kind of cafetiere or mocha pot just hanging out on the wall up here. Will I give you a tour of the cupboards? Yes, I think I will. In this one, you will find pretty much all of my baking ingredients. And a lot of inspiration too. So at the moment, this is kind of a shelf, apart from this, ignore that, <laughs> where I keep most of my kind of dry ingredients. So I have things like sugar, maybe it's kinds of sugar, flour, there's some cocoa, there's some dates in there, and some more flour and sugar, some powdered peanut butter, which is kind of handy to have sometimes, some vanilla extract, some some Gaviscon, <laughs> IBS problems, let's ignore that. <laughs> also, I keep a lot of, and I mean a lot of spreads in here. So at the moment, there is something Biscoff related in the oven. So I've just used this Biscoff. I have some pumpkin in it because it's October and tis the season. There's some Nutella with a very kind of trashy, dirty lid. I have some ruby chocolate chips to be used, some maple syrup, some marshmallow fluff another baking kit I'm going to be testing out for you guys soon, some Savoyardi because Italians, some marshmallows, walnuts, yeast, bread flour, there's just, yeah, basically this is where most of my baking stuff comes from. In the cupboard next to it, this is more what our cooking ingredients, <laughs> or not, are kept. So we have things like chickpeas and beans, risotto rice, sauces, tin tomatoes, we also have some more spices and just some spare oils and things here. We also keep our tea in here. I'm a bit of a tea fiend and we have a lot of tea drinking friends and family, so we have a lot of tea in here. This is also kind of a snack cupboard. So we have some tea cakes, some Biscoff biscuits, Yorkie chunks, Aero entire whole ass waffles. <laughs> We've got a lot of things in here, but you know what? You need snacks to hand and I'm very short, so we need to keep them on the bottom shelf. <laughs> In here, we just keep an array of our plates. So everyday ones being down here, 
Um, and we also have a lot of my kind of blog prop plates and bowls up here. So some prettier, kind of more heavy duty plates, some pretty millennial bowls and pie dishes, just things to make things look a bit more appealing. In here, nothing too exciting, just mugs and glasses. Our drawers are a little bit of a mess. Again, an array of baking stuff is kept in this one. So along with a cake turntable, some scales, some electric whisks, and some bowls, piping bags, bits and pieces. This one is just pure chaos. <laughs> in here we have chocolate molds, greaseproof paper, cupcake cases, a rolling pin, just knives. Yeah, I really need to store that. Covered <laughs> right here next to my lovely dishwasher. This will never stop entertaining me because this holds every single one of my cake tins. And honestly, I'm in love. So it looks a little impractical, doesn't it? Well, let me just show you, sir, how practical this cupboard is. Oh my God. So in here, in this tiny little space, in an accessible and just user-friendly way, we have access to a food processor, a blender, a cast iron pot, and two colanders which I can just tuck neatly away. And up here, like I said, every single cake tin that has ever existed in my life ever. And we're talking big cake tins. Here's my hand for reference. This is a 12 inch cake tin filled with nine inch cake tins, six inch, we've got pie dishes, there's four inch cake tins, there's boont tins, just all sorts of things. And it's just beautifully tucked and kept away in this cupboard. And I love it. <sighs> While I'm down here kneeling on the ground, as one does, in this oven, my lovely oven, which actually does work and doesn't run too hot or too cold yet, we have a lovely batch of Biscoff brownies. Obviously, you guys probably can't see anything, but think double chocolate brownies laced with Biscoff and sea salt. So that is probably about it for this little kitchen tour. Obviously, it's nowhere near as exciting as when people get things bespoke built for them, but I adore this little new kitchen. It's got space for all my mess <laughs> and all my things. And it was kind of fun to show you guys what a baker normally keeps in her kitchen and more importantly, in her oven. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed today's video and you would like to see a bit more kind of behind the scenes action, leave a thumbs up and I'll get on it. In the meantime, that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next one.